Yo, what's good, man? I know it's been a minute since I did a video on this channel, and what this channel I'm gonna end up using this for is more documentation. So the videos won't be as polished. It's like that last one I did, that fuck fear video. It was pretty polished. I cut it up, and honestly, I'm probably I'll probably do some editing, but not very much on these vids. This is a lot just to kind of get my ideas out, and I haven't been doing this because I want to give y'all. I wanted to give everybody like really good content, but at the same time, you know, that shouldn't be an excuse for lack of production. And as y'all know, I've been going super hard. I mean, I've been creating three pieces of content almost every day, you know what I'm saying, on my main channel. Uh, two videos and a live stream. That's three pieces of content that all takes a good bit of time and effort, and you're doing that every single day. Like, I used to drop three videos a week when I started YouTube. Now I'm doing three a day. So just put it in perspective, it's a lot. But at the same time, there's a, a very good reason for it. You know, I'm pushing for, you know, my, my ambitions, and some of y'all know, some of y'all don't, but I'll restate them because it's been a while since I, I said it kind of early on and then I just started working. But, I, you know, I want to restate and kind of document these things so when I come back, like I, I really like to be able to kind of come back and relive where I was in those specific moments because I think back today is uh, November 18th this time last year I was in a shithole apartment my life had basically fallen apart almost because I went from making $80,000 a year to making basically nothing you know what I'm saying because I don't think I was working I had I had quit my job no I'm lying I, I had started back working I was out of work for like maybe three weeks to a month trying to find a new job because I quit my other job kind of cold turkey thinking it'd be easy to get something else and my connections and things like that in the world of sales ended up getting me another sales job which was real good and they brought me and hired me on the spot and you know it was great but I didn't want to do that anymore but I had to that was a necessity because you know I had a baby on the way um I went from living pretty lavish and kind of reckless I didn't save any money I didn't manage it well, and I was fucking broke. <laughs> Shit, I'm still broke today, to be completely honest with you. There's a reason for that, but, you know. But my life, it looked very, very bleak, but the difference was I had this, this vision, this plan. I had already started YouTube, and I told you in my second video ever that I wanted to make this my life. You know what I'm saying? And so... That's what I set out to do, and I had done all the research. I did everything coming in. Like, I'm a, a very studious, and I never, my brain don't turn off. So when it's some shit I want, I fixate on it all day, every day. It's it's kind of exhausting, to be completely honest with you, but it, it manifests. So whatever that thing is that I want, I know I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm willing. Like, when I go into it. I'm willing to put in every ounce of effort, and I know. That's why when I said I was going to get 5,000 subs last year on my main channel, I knew I was going to get it. It was basically no way I wasn't going to get five. Because me doing a video every day, doing the best video I could possibly do, you know, and the rate I was growing, like even at that time, the rate that I was growing, I was getting about 10 subs a day. So if I would have just got 10 subs a day, for that entire year, that would have put me at like, I forget the number I did in my head. It was like 4,700, you know what I'm saying? If I would have just got 10 a day. And so I was like, I'm going to get 5,000 for sure. All I got to do is slightly boost my average subs per day. And I'm going to keep stepping my videos up and start doing it every day. And keep getting better, better, better. And, you know, I'm going to hit that. You know what I'm saying? That was worst case scenario in my mind. I'm going to hit 5K. Uh, we ended up, right now, we're like 12, 7, and I didn't really think I would, I, I'm almost tripling it. Like, I'm going for 15K by the end of this year. Got like another month left, month and a half, almost. So I'm trying to get 15K by the end of this year now, and then next year I'm going for 100,000, you know? Assuming I get 15, like I'll reevaluate if I need to, depending on where I finish this year. But right now, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And I just wanted to talk to y'all about the process of growing 
and just the process of you know things changing and companies coming at you and it's great and but you gotta you gotta tread you gotta tread lightly because you know for me my brand is always and my integrity is I came in saying that before I had a brand you know I declared it a brand immediately like right off the back I remember I made my Going All In song. I was like, I'm building my brand. That's what I'm doing. And with, I've always had the intentions of being a mogul. You know what I'm saying? When I started YouTube, I was just, I'm starting at the bottom. But by the end of this, I'll be a mogul. You know, I'll, have my, I'll hit my million subscribers and I'll own some companies, real estate. I'll partner with a lot of people. I have merchandise. You know, I, I intend to do all that. I intend to be hiring and firing people and you know by the end of this this, now this journey we're talking 10 20 years you know what i'm saying i'm ready to dedicate my life to becoming you know a fucking planet like now i'm talking crazy let me stop because people probably like what the fuck are you talking about uh but like i want the planet meaning like a lot i want to make an impact you know what i'm saying in the in the world i want to write my books i want to do my speaking engagements like i want to mean some shit i want to be remembered you know what I mean? And a lot of people, oh, it's just YouTube right now. You know, you say you call it just YouTube. I call it changing my fucking life. I used to wake up every day, go to a job I hated. No, I had no, nothing to look forward to. Not even the weekend. Like, a lot of people look forward to the weekend. I work on the fucking weekend. <laughs> so, you know, I look forward to my two off days, which was like Tuesday, Wednesday. That was my, my weekend for years, which was great for me. All I did on those days, play the game. You know what I'm saying? The shit that I wanted to do and rap, or I couldn't even rap for a long time. I lost that. That's another story, though. But, you know, that's the shit I wanted to do all the time, though. When I was at work, I'd be looking on YouTube, and man, look at these motherfuckers just posting gameplay, new shit dropping. They at home playing it. I'm here. You know, and you kind of look like in the real world when you talk about video games all day. You seem like a fucking weirdo. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... And of course, I understood that. So I held a lot of that back. This is going to be like long and ranty, by the way. And this might have no direction. I'm going to bounce all over the place. I'm just getting my thoughts out, getting ideas out. I should have said that at the beginning. But... <clears throat> so, you know, if you fuck with that, cool. If not, cool. But that's, that's really what this channel is going to be at this point. So, yeah. But, so yeah, we're going on YouTube and companies coming at me. And the crazy thing is, bro, I turned down probably my first three, first three or four partnership deals because I ain't think they lined up with my brand. And they like, your brand? Motherfucker, you got 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? But I look long term. Like, I don't, I'm not looking for your quick little okay great and I was dead ass broke I needed the bread but it's just more important to me my brand more important to me that's why when I came out and did the thing with IMB and people was questioning my integrity it pissed me off so bad because you know the things that I turned down which actually was after this but I just I knew who I was and like for a motherfucker to question that it, it pissed you off but you understand it people don't know you and you know, I probably would ask the question too. If I had 2,000 subscribers when they came at me, why they come at you? Like, this is probably bullet, you know? Like, what's for sure? But I value that relationship with IMB. And I think down the line, like as friends, number one, as young men, you know what I'm saying, who trying to create something and make an impact, like I relate with that so well. And I don't know that many people that's, that's trying to do that, you know, that, that look like me and shit so you know or that's in the stage that I'm in I, I that's why I watch interviews I watch interviews on YouTube and shit of these successful people so I can see I like to pick their brains like, even though I'm not talking to them directly I can take from what they're saying and understand how they think and a lot of that has helped me man a lot of these books and things that I read have helped me as well I don't talk about this shit on my main channel because I know it's not interesting to a lot of people and that's cool. That channel is not about this. That channel was about NCAA. And I get that 
full force as you could tell by the content. And I love making that content. I mean, but that's not all of Flim Love. And that's damn sure not the end. Like, that's not like, okay, this is the peak of Flim Love. But that is my entryway for sure. You know, that's how I'll, I'll begin making my impact and build my notoriety and, and do my thing. And I'm not too concerned with growing this channel. I just, I really just want to document this shit and put it on, uh, you know, have it online saved so it's there. <sighs> you feel me? But anyway, anytime I need to film, I'll probably just come and kind of do this. I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope y'all can fuck with it, man. Maybe you can learn something. Like, maybe you can relate. Maybe it'll be good to see somebody else going through this. But I got a lot more things I really want to talk about. But I'm going to probably try to keep these around 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and end this because it's 1023 and I got to edit two videos for y'all. Then go work out. Then I got to come back and stream. So we got to get it in. You know what I'm saying? And I'll go into other topics, man. If anybody's actually watching at this point, if y'all want to hear about a specific thing, let me know. And I'll, I'll gladly make that topic next time. You feel me? So anyway, man, my name is Flimlo Raps. I'm going to holler at y'all. One.